Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's continue with our uh, series or course or tutorial. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, example. We did in this in the last video. Okay, so we have that uh, zero and zero would be equal to zero, zero point two and zero point three would be equal to zero point five, and so on. So, but there is a problem that we I I don't think I have told you before. Uh, so let's execute again. I'm going to I'm going to explain guys how why we, we weren't able to predict with precision. Okay, as you guys can see, the loss is pretty low. So the topic of this video, I don't know if you saw in the title, is multi-layer. Okay, multi-layer perceptron. This example which we just did here is called perceptron. Okay. Now we're gonna finish this we're gonna actually add more layers to see how the precision uh will differ okay so just okay so you guys can see we have the predictions which weren't that good okay it's okay it should, should be zero right here it should be zero but uh i think the problem was because that's validation data set as you guys can see here is not a linear uh, problem. Okay? I'm pretty sure this is not this is a nonlinear uh, problem or data set because one and one, one and one and zero being equal to zero, it's not a actually. Yeah, I did a mistake, didn't I? One and zero is equal one, not zero. I think I was thinking on the XOR XOR problem. So, anyways, let's add more layers. Okay, so let's come back here. Because I'm just gonna now add another layer, this will be the last layer. So, as you guys remember, the last layers, the first parameter is the number of outputs, in this case, one. And we just need to give it another uh, parameter, which would be the activation. I, again, I'm gonna give the sigmoid activation function. Let's add five neurons right here. And to to kind of show more information about this mod, I'm gonna call a function called summary, which will give us um, information about the parameters of the model. And then I'm gonna uh, call input just to pause till I uh, talked about uh, the model. Okay, so let's just um, come here. Let me see if I am there. Okay, so you guys can see we have the number of parameters, total total param param parameters, which are equal 21, which means that this is a very simple model. Okay, there are models which has millions of parameters. So let's just uh, execute. And the error is becoming smaller and smaller every step or every epoch. I think um, if yeah, if I'm if I'm right, this model will be able to predict better because we have a multi-layer perception. And I think okay, so it's almost there. Let's see if we are okay. So as I can see, the outputs are the following. So this is zero point six. The target was 0. Point, the output was 0. 0.6, which was very close. Okay, right here the, the output was 0. 0.9, and actually the target was 0. 0.9. The output was 0. 0.84, which was close again. Right here one, and the output was uh, 87, which is it wasn't that close, by the way. So. What you should do to try to overcome this is to add more layers. Okay, you could do this thing. Do two things you you can do here. You could do you could add more layers, or you could add more hidden layers. Okay, neurons actually. So what happens if I add fifty right here, and let's add another dense layer, which would have fifty. Um, neurons, which 
I'm pretty sure we're gonna overfit this model, but let's uh, let's run. So the number of parameters will be we're gonna have much more parameters. Now we have two thousand seven hundred fifty-one parameters. Okay, let's run. Each epoch would take. Uh, there are, the speed of execution is almost the same. Okay, we didn't uh, have an impact on the execution time, but let's see how this model goes against that uh, problem. I think the the loss is very low right now. It's becoming very very low or small as you can see it right there okay so now we are almost able to solve this problem <laughs> as you guys can see the thing is it's pretty pretty close actually sometimes the it could work as a appro approximation but as a production thing I don't think it's, it's um accurate enough so let me see what could I do well we could add more uh, we could try to uh, change the activation function or we could add a dropout layer there are lots of things that we could do to try to uh, improve the accuracy of this model but I think I'm gonna finish this video right here guys uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about more uh, carers and deep learning. So thanks for watching this video. See you guys next time.